Hello there, in this video tutorial, let's see how to interface the SIM 900 module with Arduino and how to make a call using SIM 900 module. So let's get started with this video. Here you can see two SIM modules, both are SIM 900A modules from different manufacturers. The red one is from Dryado Labs and it has JST connectors for each connection. The blue one is smaller and called SIM 900 mini module, but it got the same specs as the other. We are going to use this mini module. This module comes with a small antenna for better reception. So first I added the antenna. Then you can see the JST power connector, 6 header pins and the SIM tray. Now let's test the module. For that, we need an Arduino, you can use any Arduino, a breadboard and a SIM card. The SIM card should support 2G network, also make sure the SIM card has an active plan. Now connect jumper wires to 5V TX, 5V RX, ground and VCC. Now connect TX pin to 11 and RX pin to 10 of Arduino. Then connect the VCC to 5V and ground to ground of Arduino. Now I inserted the SIM in the socket. Then I connected the JST connector in the SIM module. So these are the power wires of the SIM module. I connected the black wire to ground and red wire to 5 volt. Finally connect a button to the Arduino. I connected one end of the button to the ground and another end to A1. You can use any pins here but change the code according to your pins. That's the end of the connections. Now let's connect the Arduino to the computer. Now you can see that the status LED is blinking rapidly. It will blink slowly after connecting to a network. So here is the code, first I include the software serial library, then I declared the TX and RX pins. Next I stored my phone number in the character variable. You can replace this phone number with your number. After that I defined the button pin. In the setup section, first I started the serial communication and GSM. Also I defined the pin mode as input. In the loop section, first I check the button status. So if the button is pressed, this function will be called. The SIM module works on 80 commands, so this ATD plus number command will make the call and after this delay, this ATH command will end the call. So this is the basic working of this module. Now select the board and port, then upload the call. After uploading, open the serial monitor and you can see the messages. If it shows the OK message, then your connections are OK and ready to go. If the serial monitor shows 80 continuously, then check your connections and try again. Now let's see the working. When I press the button, you can see the code. Same way, we can use this module to send messages. Reverse is also possible, that is, we can control devices with the SMS or code. But that's subject of another video. You can download the code and buy parts from my website. Link is given in the video description. Now I think you learned something new from my video. If so, please like, share and subscribe. That's all up to you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you with another one. Bye.